Hello everyone. Now we all love our amaryllis. They are just beautiful flowers, but one pest that is really difficult to get rid of with your amaryllis bulbs are mealybugs. And if you look closer here, right here on my flower, so you can see what this one looks like. And so I have struggled with these mealybugs and uh, the best thing that you can do is to learn about their life cycle so that you know how you can get rid of these guys for once and for all, or at least keep them under control. All right, so I, what I did was I Googled the life cycle of the mealybugs. Their life cycle is up to two months. The female can lay up to 20 eggs per day, 300 in total. Uh, mealybugs will burrow as deep into the plant's cubby holes as possible, meaning that parts above the soil line can be affected. Now this to me was interesting about the male. Uh, the male mini mealybug will only live for three days during its adult life, mating with up to 20 females during this period. Their appearance differs greatly with the male looking vaguely similar to a female fungus gnat. So the males look completely different and I'm not even going to bother looking for the males. What I'm going to do is go after the females because I know what they look like. They look just like this and um, often they'll be even more white in appearance. So uh, this website says to prune off the worst affected leaves and any uh, flowers that house the infestation and to take the plant outside and perform a gentle hose down. And I'm not going to do the hose down method and the reason why is, oh where did that guy go? Well, I don't know what happened to that other guy, um, but here's some more in here and uh, anyway the reason that I'm not gonna hose down my plants is because these little mealybugs they have a coating that is kind of water resistant so I'm gonna take one off try to take one of these guys off and show you what I mean okay so this is my little mealy bug and I just dropped him on some water and as you can see he's just floating the water isn't really penetrating his surface so he could just easily uh, get out of here and crawl away so I, my plan isn't to just hose him down with water what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna I have three uh, different methods that I've used in the past and um, one of the methods is 70% alcohol spraying that on there um, the other method is neem oil this one is a concentrate and I just mix my own batch in here and the other method is insecticidal soap and right on there it says it treats mealybugs and um, same thing I use a concentrate here and I just keep using the same bottle and mixing it in there the method that I have used that you get instant results is this uh, alcohol method spraying the alcohol on them and um, I'm gonna show you what's cool about it because you can just see the instant effects but at the same time I don't like using too much alcohol because uh, what it can do to amaryllis is if it gets down to the roots it could stunt the growth from what I recall it could stunt the growth of the the length of the flower stalks so you could have short um, stems so I'm just gonna get this little guy out and just show you an example. 
All right, so I got this mealybug. bug. He was the one that was in the water. And if you look at him, he's happy as can be, still moving around. The water, the water didn't really affect him. So I'm just gonna show you what happens when you spray alcohol on, on him. Okay, so what happens right away when you spray the alcohol is the color of the mealybug changes. Like I almost wanna say it's like a red brown color. And that is the instant gratification I get when I spray them because I know the alcohol just killed them right away and they're done. It's a done deal. Now, earlier, before I started this video, I was spraying some of the neem oil. And uh, the neem oil, it acts a little slowly, but it did work when I checked back about half an hour later. Like, I think I just sprayed it right in here. You could see right here, this guy has turned that brown red color. So he's history. But then I stopped and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna make a, a video because I really wanna help people because I've been struggling with this. And um, so what I did was I did a little bit of research and um, I'm gonna share with you what I'm gonna do to keep these guys under control. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up all of the uh, plant debris that's dead and I'm going to throw that away. I'm not gonna compost it because I don't wanna send those uh, millie bugs or their eggs to the compost bin and recycle them back into my plants. So I'm gonna throw them in the trash, um, clean up the plants, and then I'm going to wrap some plastic around the bases of um, my bulbs. And then I'm going to use a toothbrush and the, the spray, any one of these sprays that I've used in the past that I know works. And I'm just gonna clean them out really good and clean in all the crevices and, uh, and then probably rinse them away. So first I'm gonna start with cleaning up all of this debris. You can even squish the mealy bugs with your fingers. And I did it yesterday and it was pretty gross. <laughs> I don't have a problem squishing aphids with my fingers, but mealy bugs, ugh. I don't know, they're just more, they're gross to me. And you, oh wow, there's a bunch of white cottony stuff in there which is where they lay their eggs and actually like if you want you could just I'm not going to use my fingers to squish them but I'm just going to use the back of the toothbrush if I see them as I'm peeling this stuff out of here and the other problem too with um spraying these guys off is that they can fall into the soil and survive. And you just really want to get them to keep their population down. Get as many of them as you can out of there. I'm also going to clean up like the plant debris, like the leaves and stuff like that. Because they're probably hiding in there too. I wouldn't be surprised. It's advised to repeat this process of using the pesticides and uh, cleaning out these mealybugs every 7 to 14 days 
And what I would do is, since we know the life cycle of the mealybug is two months, I, what I am going to do is I'm going to do this every week to every two weeks. I'm going to treat my amaryllis with the pesticides. All right, so I know I've got this other problem with uh, red blotch and all these mites, but that's a whole other video. That's a whole other problem that I have. But today I'm just addressing these mealybugs. And um, so I'm, I'm going around and I'm trying to pick out all of that papery stuff and clean that off because I just really want to get rid of any little hiding places that they could hide in so that I can just really get to these guys. and basically leave nowhere for them to hide and to get into. And I'm even kind of clearing away some of the soil to see how far down I should clean up this bulb. Okay. So now this guy is ready for me to clean. And I think I'll just demonstrate with this one. So next I'm gonna get the plastic and wrap it around because I want to keep them off of the soil. I'm sure they're already infested in the soil as it is. But I want to keep, if I'm gonna be cleaning out these leaves up here, I don't want them to fall into the soil. I just want to get as much of them as I can. All right, so I created an, a little nest in there and next I'm gonna use the toothbrush and Today I'll just use the neem oil and I'm just going to spray the leaves really well. The bulb. I really like to get inside of each and every crevice and I'm going to spray the bulb well too. Okay, and next I'm just going to start scrubbing away. You know what, I'm going to spray my toothbrush to get it nice and wet. And I really like this type of toothbrush. It has the soft, long uh, bristles because I just basically want to sweep them out of those crevices. Just get them out of there, all of the little babies. and. I do want them to go flying into the plastic because I'm going to throw the plastic away. just want to get them off of my plants. And these crevices can go so deep that I might not be able to get all of them, but if I come back every week or two and do this, I'm really going to be controlling this population so much <laughs> that my plants are going to love me. And um, speaking of repeating this step every week or two, what I would do, what I'm going to do and what I suggest that you do is I'm just going to get out my phone and put it on the calendar. So what I'm going to do is I'm just today I put it on my calendar in two weeks because next week I'm going to be out of town. But in two weeks I'm going to I put the note on there spray mealybugs. And you know what I could go ahead and put it on my calendar set it for each week every week or every other week. 
and that's the best way to get these guys under control is just hit them hit them hard every single week all the ones that you miss and they crawl back in there you're gonna get them this time okay so I could see this guy right here he's still alive even though I sprayed the plant and scrubbed it down maybe he crawled out of a crevice so I'm just gonna spray him again and I'm gonna brush him off of there And now I'm gonna move on to the next one. All right, so I went ahead and I cleaned up all of my uh, amaryllis in between each uh, leaf and I scrubbed the bulbs a little bit. I used the, the back of my toothbrush to kind of clear away some of the soil and peel off all the loose papers. And um, I should have done this before I started by removing these these long straggly leaves that are sick what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna instead of um clipping them like i i normally would clip them what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pull them off and i'm gonna pull them away and as i'm pulling them away because i could see more white um in there the white webbing and i'm just gonna spray it as i peel it off that way it can kind of seep down in there. And um, so I'm gonna do that just to really get in there. And then uh, the other thing I was gonna say is that after I did all of this, I noticed some mealybugs coming out and I just went ahead and I just squished them with the back of my toothbrush. And um, the other thing that really surprised me, and I, I saved some so you could see. Let me turn this. So with the bloom, oh my gosh, there were so many like webbing and little tiny mealybugs in there that, because um, I was using the insecticidal soap through this process, I just decided, since it was so bad in here, and I left these on, I peeled a bunch of these off so that I could get in there because it was just so bad. But um, I decided just to hit those with the alcohol because it was just so bad. Like I was having a hard time getting in there with the toothbrush. So took care. I took care of those clusters. Okay, so. Once I remove all of these um, long straggly leaves, my final step that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, spray and I'm just going to spray the, so the surface of the soil just to hit any um, mealybugs that fell off or that are still, that are still in the soil. Just want to hit those and um, maybe take a final look because it was really interesting to me to see uh, after the fact that some more of the mealybugs had come out from where I cleaned it and were crawling up the leaves. So I'll just take another look and see if there's anything else that I need to squish any ones that I left behind. But the main thing is that the best way I'm gonna control these is to keep on them every week. I know it's, it's not a fun job and um, you just gotta hit them hard. And oh, the other tip, cause my toothbrush was getting really nasty especially when I was cleaning down by the bulbs. So I just got like a container of water and I would just rinse off my toothbrush and then go back in there and uh, go back in there and clean because that really helps to keep the toothbrush cleaned up while you're going in there. And um, I would spray the toothbrush with more spray and get in there. All right, that's it for now.
All right, this is a three week update since I cleaned these guys up and sprayed them down. And I just wanted to show you how much better the new growth looks. So from about, so you can see this leaf here, how molted it looks. And from about here down, it's all new, clean, green regrowth. And uh, so I also wanted to say that the, the first time I took care of these, it was really time consuming, getting in there with the toothbrush and cleaning them up. But when you go back to respray them, it's actually really quick. And um, you know, I, I was using the neem oil and I get in there and spray in between each leaf. And I just want to show you, I haven't sprayed these ones yet today, but look at the improvement here. No white mealy bugs. So the work of spraying these every week or every other week is really starting to pay off. Yeah, so it's so much easier. I just spray them in between each leaf, get down there good, spray the whole leaf, spray the undersides, and only these spots right here that just have a little bit of white residue, I'll go in and I'll use the toothbrush to clean that off. And I've also been spraying all of my other amaryllis bulbs in the yard and any other plants that had mealybugs. And I've been having really great results with my other plants. So yeah, keep at it. Keep spraying them. Spray your leaves down, your bulbs down, and even the top surface of the soil. And you're gonna see huge improvements. Hit them, hit them hard. Get rid of those millibugs.